Oh, I just got my strings in it. <laughs> they're not burning, they're not on fire. Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Oh, my ring light is really shaking. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It must be really scared to make this video. However, am really excited. I'm also scared. So I've seen people doing this all over YouTube and I've only watched like two or three of the videos. Honestly, I haven't finished any of them, so I don't know if anybody has actually finished the challenge. I'm sure people have, but this is what I'm doing today. I am doing the Samyang, Samyang, I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry, but it's the extreme hot chicken flavor ramen, and I'm super excited about it. Um, it is vegan. Yes. It is vegan. I went to a couple different sites. I went to the manu manufacturer's site. I went to other specific YouTubers who had made this video and they are all saying, yes, this is vegan. So I'm gonna try it. There's another pack that's like two times hotter and there's another pack that's four times hotter. But before jumping into those, I kinda wanna give like the baby level a try. I've heard a lot of people say it's super, super spicy and it sets their mouth on fire and they've had blisters and things after that. I've also heard that some people have said that it's not very spicy. Um, I got it from a friend yesterday and so it was perfect timing and uh, she tried it. She had some of it and she said it got too hot so she didn't finish it. I've got my water boiling it back here so I'm gonna make it. It's 530 calories. Um, ba -ba -ba, 16 grams of fat, zero grams of cholesterol because it's vegan and literally you cannot get cholesterol from vegetable based products. And it also has 85 carbs. So I'm gonna have to work out after I eat this if I still like have the ability to move and breathe. So it just says put the noodles in 600 milliliters of boiling water and cook for five minutes. Uh, remove from the water and put liquid soup into noodles and then stir fry for 30 seconds with eight spoons of the water that you take out of the bowl. And then put the flakes in and stir as well. I don't know what the flakes are. She said it's something like some like seaweed flakes or something. So yeah, I am like super, super excited to try this, you guys. Uh, so I'm gonna make it, and then we are going to try it. So wish my mouth luck, pray for my mouth, pray for me, pray for my airways, I don't know, but just hopefully I can do this. Okay, so I've got the noodles cooking for five minutes, and then this is the sauce. This is supposed to be what makes it like super, super hot. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it says or anything. I don't speak that language. And then these are the flakes and I honestly don't know what the flakes are. So hopefully like maybe it tones it down and it's not an actual spice itself, but we're just gonna see. So this has about five minutes to cook and then I have to stir for it. Okay, so the noodles are cooked. This is that sauce. I smelled it. It honestly doesn't smell hot. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It looks like blood. It seriously looks like coagulated blood. That is disgusting. It does look like it has little pieces of um, seaweed and sesame seeds. So it just says to stir fry it for 30 seconds and then it's gonna be ready. All right, you guys, it is done. It is officially cooked and I don't know if you guys can just see like how physically hot it is with the amount of steam that's coming off of it, but it is physically hot as well as spicy hot. And as I was pulling it into the bowl, I took a big deep breath in and I actually got some of this spices in my mouth and oh my gosh I started coughing and choking and I was like this can't be this can't be this hot and I haven't even taken a bite so I don't know I mean I do have the lungs of like an 82 year old so quite possibly <coughs> oh I seriously just did it again oh so this might not be an issue with the food it might be an issue with my lungs but ah, I'm scared okay so first bite and I did cut it all up because ain't nobody got time to mess with noodles uh, and having to twirl them around. I just want to get this into my body as fast as possible. So, um, yeah, I cut it all up and it's ready to go. It's not that bad. Okay, I might be missing something. I might really seriously be missing something. It's not bad. You guys, this isn't bad. I mean, is it hot? Yeah, it's spicy. That's so weird. And you can still see like the little pieces of the, of the um, seaweed. Okay, so I don't know if just, I, I eat a lot of hot food. I have a friend um, that my husband works with and he makes authentic salsa with ghost peppers. But I thought this was supposed to be like super, like I can't swallow it spicy. Like it's making my mouth water. 
I'm not gonna lie, it's very spicy. And the spices are very hot. But it's not like, I don't know you guys. I kind of wanted to make like this funny video of me like spitting it back out into my bowl and like having it be super hot and my mouth being on fire. So I may have the lamest extreme hot noodle challenge ever because honestly it tastes amazing. It ta I don't know what chicken tastes like. Um, so I don't know if their artificial chicken ingredients are on par. <coughs> okay, I just got a spice in my lung. <coughs> it is making my nose run. So there's that. But I mean, I, but I don't feel like it's unbearable. So I guess I'm gonna have to try the extreme times too. But let me see if I can finish the whole thing. Maybe it'll like kick in like midway. I'm actually chewing it because my first bite I just swallowed whole just to kind of test it out. But this one, this is actually really, really good. It's not like so hot it doesn't have a flavor because it's full of flavor. Oh my gosh. I love this. All right, I'm gonna finish it. like back here I feel like I could probably breathe fire it's pretty hot but not like I saw some people who were like bleh, bleh, it's so hot oh I can't breathe like I mean I'm not like sweating my nose is running a little bit but like I don't know all right so this is my last bite you guys and I ate all of it there's like a couple little pieces is it hot it's hot. Is it bearable for me? But like I said, I eat ghost peppers and habaneros and things like that. I don't know you guys. I say give it a try. Maybe it's not gonna be too hot for you too. Maybe you can finish it as well, but I am definitely going to have to go get the extreme extreme pipes. I can't even speak. So maybe it's like killed my, my tongue. Uh, but I'm gonna have to go get the extreme spicy noodle challenge times two, which is actually two times hotter than this. And I guess we'll just go from there. So sorry guys, this is kind of a lame video. Not the greatest extreme, you know, I didn't like melt into a puddle. I will take a drink because I'm not this hot. And there, it's gone. Like, it didn't even have like any sort of residual. I'm bombed. I really wanted my mouth to like get on fire and burn like a hole in my throat or something. That sucks. It sucks you guys. All right, well, that is all I have for you guys today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> you probably didn't. You're probably like, who is this girl? You're so lame. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and make sure to subscribe, and I guess look for my next video where I try the times two, and we'll see how that goes as well. So, I don't know. You guys have a great night, and I will see you guys in my next video.